Hey, my name is Phil from webautomation.co. In this video, I wanna share with you some in-charge marketing automation examples because honestly, in-charge is one of my favorite tools and not many people actually know about it. So that's what we're gonna be going through in this video. Now, just before we get started, if you haven't yet tried out in charge, there is a 14 day free trial. There's a link in the description to that, but just to make it a little bit sweeter, if you decide to actually go to a paid plan, I've got a special offer for you. Now, the link in the description will take you to this page. If you go and get your free trial, no credit card needed using this button, You'll also see a discount code on the page right now. And if you use that discount code, you'll get 50% off your first month as well. So you might as well save yourself some dollars. So let's go ahead and jump behind the screen. What I'm actually going to do is show you one of the brands that I manage and the flow that I'm using inside of it. So this particular brand is called Funnel Scene. It's based around a sales funnel software that I use and it's been wildly successful. Now the great thing about this is it has webhooks which if you know anything about in charge, they accept into their platform. So let me just show you one of the flows that I have here. Now just to give you some context inside of the Funnel Scene um, platform, I have a bonus course I give away to people and if they wanna claim this bonus course, um, if they sign up using my referral link, they have to go through a claim form. Now the claim form is actually this one here, and this is using a platform called IDA form. So if someone comes inside of here, they fill out this information right, and they wanna get my funnel scene course, what they're gonna then do is get added into this flow here. So trigger when webhook FS claim receives data. So there's been 100 people so far that have gone through this. They've come through and been tagged with FS claim. Now the numbers are gonna be slightly off because I've changed this quite a few times um, while it's been running. So that's why that might be slightly different, but that's fine, it still works great now. And once they've been tagged, they then get sent this email, right? Now this email is basically gonna say, hey, in 48 hours, if you don't hear from me, there's a good chance that you didn't actually go through my link. Um, so here's some options if you didn't to get the course naturally, right? So they're gonna get sent that email and then it's gonna wait two days, which is 48 hours. And then it's going to check this tag here, has if is members right so this is going to be a tag that triggers once someone has actually um, been added to the course i usually check this within two days that's why it's got a 48 hour trigger and what's going to happen is it's going to check it if they have it it's going to remove the fs claim tag because they're just going to be members now they don't necessarily need to have this tag but if they don't have the tag it's then going to send them an email saying, hey, sorry, it looks like you haven't actually joined using my link, but here are some different ways you can actually either go and purchase the course or re-qualify for it. And then I've put them in this 200 day wait. So this is just one of the little automation flows that I've added, basically, once again, to recap, if someone wants to claim my free course that I'm giving them that I'm actually charging for normally, they're gonna to have to come inside the form, fill out their information, and if they don't get the tag, um, they're gonna be sent a bunch of emails. Now here is the members flow once again, this is a different flow. Once they get added to the course, they're going to get the FS members tag, and then it's going to go ahead and check if they have the FS claim tag, which is once again for um, this, this flow. And if they do, it's going to remove it. If they don't, you can see the conditional yes and no here. It's going to take them to the next one. Now I've got some additional tags as well. So I've got here FS ref not yet member. So that's for another flow that I'm using. If they have that, they can go ahead and remove it as well. If they don't, they can continue down. And the same thing goes once again. So I've got all of these different automations sort of running. It took a little bit of brain power at the beginning to figure out the best way to automate it. But now the great thing about this, after I've actually put in this different in charge marketing automation, even though the platform itself isn't for in charge, it's for a completely different company called System, what's happening is I'm starting to see more sales come through, more referrals coming in, and it's actually increased my return on investment quite dramatically, um, and that's all based around this marketing automation. So that's why I absolutely love InCharge. 
So what I'm actually going to do right now is just show you a real quick tutorial on how you can use the workflow builder so you can create your own marketing automation. So here is my dashboard for web automation, the website webautomation.co and it's brand new so there's not really much inside of here. I actually just shot a tutorial before this video about creating a newsletter automation. So let me just show you how things work. So I'm gonna go ahead, create a new flow and this flow, I'm gonna start from scratch. There's all of these templates if you want them, but I'm just going to start one from scratch just to show you how quick and easy it actually is to build your own web flows. So what you wanna do first of all is add in a trigger. Now triggers can be based on so many different things, right? Um, it all really depends on what your needs and wants are. If you're taking subscriptions, if you're taking payments, things like that, if you're taking Calendly bookings, you can add any of these inside of here. For me personally, I like receive webhook because this is where my third party software actually sends information to InCharge. So then inside of InCharge, I can start automating different things. So first of all, I'm gonna add receive webhook. The next one, if you scroll down, you'll see actions. This is what happens usually after a trigger. So what I'm gonna do inside of here is come down and I'm going to put add tag because I always add a tag every time a new bit of information comes into my uh, ecosystem. That way I just know exactly where they've come from. So I'm gonna connect those two together and I'm also going to do a check field and I'll show you why in a second. It's going to be similar to what we did in the last tutorial. So first of all, receive webhook. Now what this means is this is going to be the webhook URL that you need to install in your third party software so you can actually start collecting some information from it once it's been submitted. So what I'm gonna do is quickly open up a landing page Okay, so here is just a landing page that I have for another one of my brands. And this is just talking about how to build sales funnels in WordPress. There is a step-by-step -step guide they actually get if they enter the information. So what I'm gonna do is open Elementor, open the page builder, come to this little um, button here to actually edit the details. And then down below here, we have actions after submit. What we wanna do is ensure that we have webhook checked. If we don't, this is what you simply do to do it. So click on it, come down to webhook, and then the webhook tab will appear. And what we wanna do is come back to our in charge uh, webhook URL, copy that once again, come back and paste it in like so. Click on update. And now this is being connected, what we need to do is give it a name. So I'm just gonna call this the WA um, Sales Funnel Guide, all right? And inside of Elementor, I'm also actually going to name it. So I might actually just, yeah, I'll call it the same. So update, all right? And then click Save here. Now what it's going to ask for is for you to trigger that webhook, right? So what I need to do is come inside here, click on Preview, and then I'm gonna actually fill out this form. So what's my name? I'm gonna call myself Steve, just to keep a variant so we can see that it's working. And I'm gonna type in, um, I'll just type in this email address here, just so it works. Click on download free guide. Okay, now it's been sent. Now if I come back to in charge, right? You can see that this is the information that we've received. So first of all, name is Steve. Email is hello plus one at webautomation.com. Form name is WA Sales Funnel Guide. So I'm gonna click on continue. You can auto map the fields if you want. I like to do them manually. So I like to have first name if it's only the first name that you're asking for. If it's the full name, I suggest choosing full name. Uh, also email, and then finally, you can go ahead and create your own um, field if you want. If I scroll to the bottom, I've actually got this one here, subscribed into, and this is my custom one. I've actually done a couple. I showed you how to do it on the last video. So go and check that out if you haven't yet. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on save. And now the connection has been made, which is awesome. So the next step, what we're gonna do is create a tag. So first of all, I'm gonna click on add tag. Now you can see I've only got two different types of newsletters on here. These were for, for tutorials. So what I'm gonna do is actually just start typing a new tag. So I'm gonna call this sales funnel guide because I wanna know where these people have come from, right? So I might even put WA there as well. So click on, uh, below you notice it now says create WA sales funnel guide. So click on that and you've gone ahead and created a new tag on the fly. So click on save. 
So that's now been added. Every time someone comes through here, they're going to be tagged with the specific tag. And then finally, what I wanna do just to mix things up a little bit is if someone is uh, say, joined my WA sales funnel guide, what I actually am thinking is maybe I'll remove them from my newsletter so they only get sent information about the sales funnel guide. Now, this normally wouldn't happen, but I just want to show you how the check field works, okay? So what I'm going to do is click on this button here, and it says um, check if the person satisfies either all of the following or any of the following, and you choose your condition. So what I'm going to do is choose the tag, and if they have the tag, and I'm gonna say web automation newsletter and click on save, and you can create multiple conditions if you want, if you wanna get really niche, then what I can do is come inside here, I'm actually gonna remove a tag if it's a no. So I'm gonna drag it together, it asks proceed on, I'm gonna choose no, uh, sorry, yes. And then what I'm gonna do is remove the tag, okay? So click on save. And now that's done. So if they come through this funnel, if they have this tag as well as this tag, it's gonna go ahead and remove the tag. And if it doesn't, instead, what I'm going to do is go ahead and send an email. So I'm gonna drag this together, proceed on yes. And even if they do have the tag and I go ahead and remove it, I also want them to get sent the email. So what I'm gonna do is click on the email now and I've connected everything together. It looks really good. And what you can do is go ahead and create a new email. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna choose an existing one, okay? And I'm just gonna leave it like that. So I've chosen an email, it's all quick and easy. And then we're pretty much good to go. So what I'm gonna do is name this the Sales Funnel Guide, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So, now we have finished our first in charge marketing automation. This is pretty um, cool because we've got a condition inside of that. It's just not a straightforward one. So you can understand how quick and easy this actual type of marketing automation platform is to create different types of workflows. It's absolutely incredible. And what I'm gonna do now is actually just go ahead and test it. And to test it, what I'm gonna do is open up the people tab and I'm gonna use this same exact name and email because at the moment he's subscribed to the web automation newsletter, but I wanna go through this flow. So what it should actually do is remove the, w, uh, the web automation newsletter and tag the new one and send the email. So let's go ahead and test it out. So here is the sales funnel, name is Bob. I'm gonna type in hello at iamphilwilson.com. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click download free guide. And now this automation should fire. And then if we come back to our flow, now you'll have to excuse me, I was gonna show you a different way of doing it. Then I realized I should have used this particular one because I wanted to remove the automation tag. So as you can see, we've now got another person through this automation flow. We've got one person that has come through this remove tag flow and been sent the email. So if I actually come to people, right? And if I look at this person once again, you'll notice the tag has changed from what it was, right? So Bob has now um, got the tag WA sales funnel. And if I actually click on him and have a look, we can see the entire journey. So right, he uh, subscribed to web, web automation newsletter. This was actually yesterday. So you can see we're on the sixth now. This happened on the fifth when I shot the video. So he was sent the newsletter, he opened the newsletter, and if we keep coming through, you'll see today, he's gone ahead and entered his information through the webhook for Sales Funnel Guide. So he entered the guide, was tagged with WA Sales Funnel Guide, checked the step, was untagged with web automation, um, so the tag was removed and then entered, oh, sorry, then got sent an email, and you probably see it says couldn't receive the web automation newsletter welcome, which was the email that I added in there. Reason being is I've got it on don't send, don't send more than once, um, so that's why it's not receiving, but if it was a different email, which it should be, then they would be sent it. So you can see their entire journey through here. It's pretty incredible to see. And once again, you can see the live statistics as they go through, if you click on it as well, you can also hover over to the people tab and hover over the actual step and it's gonna show you exactly that person's name. So it's pretty cool. Now that is in charge marketing automation. That's just a few examples 
of what you can do, which is pretty cool. And as everyone's business is slightly different, if you actually break down all of the different steps inside your actual business, you can start creating some pretty incredible looking workflows that are literally going to give you back so much time and the entire sales process or onboarding process is going to be automated and it's going to flow like water. So absolutely incredible guys once again that is in charge if you want to go ahead and also get that special offer once again you don't have to subscribe to any uh, plan when you first get set up here as well it's a 14 day free trial and then if you decide to upgrade then you have the ability to using the discount code we went through earlier but that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button i love to know that i give value back to my viewers and if you haven't yet hit subscribe i've got so many great automation and marketing tutorials coming out in the near future but that's it from me guys thanks again for stopping by and i'll see you on the next video